everyone, and welcome to the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament. I am Excalibur, and I'll be calling all of the action here for you tonight on the Japanese side of the bracket. As you can see, we're down to the phenomenal 15 with Thunder Rosa advancing after a victory over Layla Hirsch last Wednesday night on Dynamite. The overall tournament winner will earn a shot at the AEW Women's World Champion Hikaru Shida at Revolution on March 7th on pay-per-view. Tonight, we'll be seeing the opening round of the Japanese side of the bracket with Benny making their AEW debut, taking on the queen, Emi Sakura. And who is the cutest in the world? Well, Ito-chan, of course, but will it be enough for Maki Ito to overcome the challenge of Anaki? Rio Mizunami here in the first round. The hard-hitting legend of pro wrestling, Aja Kong, makes her return to the AEW ring tonight, but she will have to defeat the ultra-talented Rin Katakura if she hopes to advance. And in our opening contest, the magical girl, Yuka Sakazaki, returns to AEW to take on the woman with the biggest smile in pro wrestling, Mei Suruga. AEW, Josh. オーダー次期挑戦者決定トーナメント1回戦シングルマッチ20分1本勝負まず初めに青コーナーよりスルダンメイスシュルンニュージョです。Ring announcer Rikia Shindo welcoming us to Warabi Wrestle Budokan here in Saitama, Japan. Introducing our first competitor of the evening, Mei Suruga. And as, as it was announced, all matches here in the tournament will be a 20-minute time limit, one fall to a finish. We eagerly await the AEW debut of Mei Suruga. She will be fighting out of the blue corner here tonight. And you see, I wasn't kidding about her smile, folks. Mei Suruga, is, uh, she's got a champion spirit despite what she might lack in size. And she has proven that time and time again over her brief career. She was trained by one of her fellow tournament competitors, Emi Sakura. We'll have a little bit more on that later and Sakura's influence on the women's wrestling in general. This side of Judas, Yuka Sakazaki, making her eagerly anticipated return here to All Elite Wrestling. It just keeps going, wow. There she is, the magical girl, Yuka Sakazaki. As I mentioned, making her return just prior to the pandemic, Yuka was really catching on with the AEW fans all around the world. Thanks to her, uh, her hard work, her, uh, her effervescent spirit, Yuka actually picked up the biggest victory of her AEW career over Dr. Britt Baker at Dynamite on February 5th, 2020. Great to see her back in action here tonight. Our referee, Tommy, if that is his real name, and I've been assured it is, will be overseeing all of the action here in our first round tournament matches. Yuka Sakazaki out of the red corner, Mei Suruga out of the blue corner. As we kick things off on the Japanese side of our bracket here tonight, both competitors acknowledge they are ready to go. Good sportsmanship here to kick things off tonight. Okay, let's go. And the gong sounds and we are underway. May Saruga, as I mentioned, with just, uh, just two and a half years of in-ring experience, has really proven to be a prodigy. And Emi Sakura's uh, Gato Move Pro Wrestling Academy. But Yuka Sakazaki, 
showing her experience edge, her edge in technique, but actually, May Saruga, a series of rolls, able to escape, faked, and really took Yuka off her game right there. Now May Saruga climbing it up, comes down. I thought she was going for an arm drag. There it is, the second time around, she finds her mark, May Saruga, looking impressive here in the early going. Body scissors applied. We've often seen in Choco Pro Wrestling, this is the precursor to her big Oklahoma roll, taking Yuka Sakazaki for a ride around the ring and keeps going. And into the pin. One, two, no, just a two count. She was posing, didn't really lean back on it, but still enough to disorient the magical girl, Yuka Sakazaki. May Saruga, despite her, uh, her brief period in pro wrestling, has achieved quite a bit. She is currently one half of the Asia Dream Tag Team Champions with Balian Aki. But Yuka Sakazaki taking this moment to slow things down since she's in the headlock, trying to reorient herself after being, uh, being put through the spin cycle by May Saruga. Sakazaki sent into the ropes, but comes back with a powerful shoulder tackle. Mesa goes for the trip. Yuka Sakazaki able to avoid, gets a trip of her own. Saruga bridges up, makes it look easy, but Sakazaki rolls her through, backs her into the ropes. Irish whip reversal. Yuka Sakazaki switches around, sends Saruga in. The scoop and the suplex. Great attack there by Yuka Sakazaki. See Mesa Ruga definitely feeling it here in the early goings. Yuka Sakazaki has a lot of history with one of the uh, the fellow tournament entrants here on the Japanese side, Maki Ito. Yuka teamed with a competitor, Mizuki, as part of the Magical Sugar Rabbits tag team that had a lot of success in Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. But unfortunately, Mizuki was also part of the Ito Respect Army tag team at the same time, caused a lot of hurt feelings between all three women as now Yuka Sakazaki taking a dip back and really wrenching back here on May Saruga. The referee calling for the break. Yuka Sakazaki making the most of the five count she was allotted. Yuka headed up to the top. May Saruga struggling to her feet. Great cartwheel there by Sakazaki, able to avoid contact, but Mesuruga avoids as well. Hits the ropes, comes firing back. Both women able to dodge one another. Leg capture into not quite a knee bar, steps over. STF here by Yuka Sakazaki. Great job. You saw she, she had her eye on the bottom rope and then positioned her body toward the center of the ring. Mesuruga is going to have to swim through some deep water here tonight if she hopes to make it to the ropes. She is scratching, she is clawing, but can she get it? Oh man, she is reaching and Yuka Sakazaki identifies it. Now with the single arm straight jacket applied. May reaching with that left arm and finally does make it to the bottom rope to force the break. Yuka Sakazaki Needs to keep the pressure on here. As I mentioned, May Saruga, despite being very early into her pro wrestling journey, she has proven to be something of a prodigy here. But Yuka Sakazaki able to absorb all that punishment. Oh, stop to the foot there by Saruga. May hits the, oh, does, no, does not hit the ropes. The waist lock, the German suplex attempted there by Yuka Sakazaki. Swing and a miss, May Saruga off the middle rope. She faked high and the leg sweep. An unorthodox attack to say the least, but the best shots are the ones that are least expected. May Saruga with the advantage here. Sends Yuka Sakazaki hard into the corner. Brings Yuka back towards center, whips her in once again, the hammer throw. You can see Yuka really feeling the punishment here. May Saruga able to reverse a third throw into the corner. May Saruga with the scoop and the body slam center of the ring. Huge opportunity here, lateral press, one, two, no. Yuka fires that left shoulder up off the canvas. 
May hits the ropes, flips for it. Oh, wrenching back on the neck of Yuka Sakazaki. Yuka fighting with the hands there, but oh wow, look at this tremendous bridge up there by May Saruga. Great finding the legs of Yuka Sakazaki. Wrenching back. Oh, you can see putting downward pressure on the ankle. She's got the leg grapevine, and now May Saruga bridging ever so slowly backwards, driving down Yuka Sakazaki, placing her head right between the shoulder blades. And now, inverted double underhooks there. All this pressure being exerted on the knees, the arms, the upper body of Yuka Sakazaki. Yuka trying to fight her way free to make the crawl to that bottom rope. May Saruga just wrenching back on Yuka Sakazaki. You can see Yuka really digging in those elbows to make it those final few inches, and she does. Makes it to the bottom rope. Referee Tommy calls for the break here. May Saruga elevating up to the middle rope. Diving double sledge to the spine, reminiscent of how she used the Choco Pro Arena cover here. No, again, Yuka able to kick out. A Choco Pro Arena, one of the most unique environments in all of professional wrestling. May Saruga has really learned a lot in that building and has applied it well here tonight, but uh, High and hard common geary there by Yuka Sakazaki. Just dropped Mesa Ruga towards center. Now Yuka up on the middle rope, diving back elbow. Powerful attack. Catching May across the chest. Yuka back in the driver's seat here with the advantage. Delayed vertical suplex here by the magical girl. Dropped her down the brain buster. Yuka Sakazaki, she's saying that is it. She could be looking for the Magical Girl Splash. She's headed up to the top. Mesa Ruga had it scouted, but did not have that boot scouted. Walked right in to Yuka Sakazaki's attack. Yuka avoids contact, goes over the top. Diamond cross body here by Mesa Ruga. Yuka counters, one, two, no! Great counter there by Yuka Sakazaki using her opponent's momentum against her. Yuka goes, steps through with the hammerlock into a version of a fireman's carry, spins her out. Nope, May Saruga able to avoid. She's got the reverse body scissors applied. No, look at this, Yuka gets rolled through, almost like a ghetto clutch, but no, just a two count there for May Saruga. May needs to keep her eye on the ball. She hits the rope, steps up onto the shoulders. Could be thinking victory roll here. Nope, Yuka escapes out. Body scissors here. Roll up by Mesa Ruga. One, two, no! Again, Yuka able to weather the storm. Mesa Ruga grabbing a hold, looking to slow down the momentum. In Keep the pressure on Yuka Sakazaki at the same time, once again, using those great bridging techniques to put extra emphasis on that submission hold. Yuka, though, the roll through the kick to the face, stopping Mesa Ruga right in her tracks. Yuka hits the rope sliding lariat. Deep cover here, one, two, no! May able to kick out. This has been a back and forth affair. Ring announcer Rikia Shindo giving the 10 minute call. Of course, all these matches in the first round, a 20 minute time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 20 minute time limit, but it might not go that far. Yuka Sakazaki hit almost like a Northern Lights bomb, dropping Mesa Ruga. And now Yuka making the climb up. She could be thinking Magical Girl Splash. Yuka up to the top, Magical Girl, 450 splash, hooks the far leg, two, three! Impressive.
massive victory here tonight for Yuka Sakazaki, advancing to the semifinal round on the Japanese side of the bracket. Mesa Ruga, despite her relative inexperience, came here to fight and she comported herself extremely well. But at the end of the night, Yuka Sakazaki was victorious. And let's take another look at the brackets. Now one competitor from each side of the bracket has advanced to the semi-final round. We will see a second one coming up next as Venny making their AEW debut, taking on Emi Sakura. Only one can advance, who will it be? The great thing about a tournament like this is featuring competitors, putting a spotlight on competitors that otherwise our audience may not be familiar with, and Venny is one of them. Venny has proven to be, much like Mei Saruga, something of a pro wrestling prodigy. Starting their career at only 16 years of age, trained by the great Ayako Hamada, Venny has really climbed up the ranks, one of the hardest working independent pro wrestlers in all of Japan. Starting their career in pro wrestling wave, where Venny faced fellow tournament competitors Ryo Mizunami and Aja Kong, and even the current AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. So despite having only just six years, under six years, of pro wrestling experience under their belt, Venny, highly accomplished and one to keep your eye on. Emi Sakura, somebody that longtime AEW fans are well familiar with. She has been influential in the training of the current AEW Women's World Champion Hikaru Shida, as well as the former AEW Women's World Champion Riho. It was actually something of a bittersweet moment when Emi Sakura faced Riho back at Full Gear in 2019, because while Sakura was defeated that night in Baltimore, Maryland, she still got to see one of her students, her protege, Riho, really come into her own. And uh, it was that night, to, to use the old cliche, that the student became the master, of course. We will see Riho back in action this Wednesday night when she takes on Serena Deeb in an opening round matchup on the U.S. side of the bracket. Before this match gets underway, I want to draw attention to that kimono that Venny was wearing on their entrance. Kimono actually belonged to Hana Kimura, who passed away tragically last year, uh, May 23rd, 2020. Hana Kimura was part of the Oedo Tai group in stardom. That was the kimono she wore out there, and that, that kimono was, was gifted to Venny by Kyokyo Kimura, Hana's mother because uh, Venny and Hana Kimura actually had a tag team in Wrestle 1 and competed in Pro Wrestling Wave as well. So a great way to show tribute to a friend that has passed on. But right now we turn our focus to this matchup as Venny, great drop step there, getting behind, getting behind Emi Sakura, dropping Sakura down front face lock here, Venny. Showing that uh, they're a little bit craftier here than the veteran, though. Just as I say that, Emi Sakura turns things around, able to, to roll with the momentum of Venny here. Front chancery locked in tight there. A rake across the back by Emi Sakura. Venny able to avoid contact. Rolls through. <laughs> I have never quite seen a counter like that in an AEW ring. Emi Sakura, though, not impressed. Delivering the Mongolian chops, dropping Venny down. 
Veni being brought back up to their feet by Emi Sakura. Emi, the, oh, the handful of hair whipping Veni across the ring. Referee Tommy advising Emi Sakura to keep it clean. Emi Sakura, oh, 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 oh. another brutal hair whip by Emi Sakura, the 25 plus year veteran of pro wrestling. Sakura, as I mentioned, responsible for training many members of the uh, the Japanese side of the AEW roster, but so many others, including uh, Mei Suruga, who competed here earlier tonight. Emi Sakura thinking Romero special. She's got it locked in. Veni, pressure being put on the shoulders, the knees, the lower back, and even more pressure now as Emi Sakura drops Veni down. That is the experience and technique advantage that Emi Sakura brings, though. Veni, no stranger to those Lucha Libre-style submissions, having trained under Ayako Hamada. Ayako, of course, the daughter of Gran Hamada, one of the, the first men to really bring the sport of Lucha Libre from Mexico and marry it so well with the Japanese style of pro wrestling. That is a story for another podcast as right now. Emi Sakura keeping the pressure up on Veni. Sakura using her striking advantage to keep Veni neutralized in the corner. Oh, brutal knife edge chop. Ringing out through Robbie Wrestle Budokan here and Saitama. Hammer throw to the corner, avoided by Veni, but not the chop. Another one finding its mark. Emi Sakura with a big smile on her face. Looking very confident here tonight, but Veni, back handspring elbow. Stopping the momentum here of Emi Sakura, at least momentarily. Veni hopping up to the top rope, an incredible leap and a big right hand. Veni with a shot coming off the middle rope, diving cross body, rolled through. I think if Veni had hooked the far leg, they might have had a pin there. But Veni's momentum Carried to the outside. Emi Sakura trying to put some distance between herself and her opponent, but now Veni climbing to the top rope. Orihara Moonsault crashing down on the floor here. Veni risking life and limb to gain the advantage, but boy, did they ever. The tide has turned, and now Veni in the driver's seat. Confidence all over Veni's face. As Emi Sakura returned to the ring. Sakura trying to find her bearings. Veni looking for a springboard, but Emi Sakura hits the, hits the ropes, disrupting the springboard attack. Now, the backbreaker off the middle rope. Emi Sakura has Veni down. Sakura up to the middle. Flipping senton. Opting not to capitalize though with a pin. Talking some trash, saying bring it on. What do you got, Venny? Emmy Sakura has seen and done it all. It's gonna take a lot to impress her. She was a 2009 Tokyo Sports Women's Wrestler of the Year. She has achieved so much in her career, but right now she is breaking the back of Venny down trying to inhibit their high-flying offense and doing a good job of it. Emi Sakura up to the middle rope. You can see what's again calling on Venny, but Venny answering with that big Venus hammer uppercut. Venny charging in, coming off the top rope. Almost like a side headlock takeover with a springboard combination. Veni up to their feet. Emi Sakura down in the corner. Veni running, shooting, star press, hooks the far leg. Two, no! Emi Sakura kicking out. Veni showing their perseverance here tonight. But Emi Sakura turns things around. Standing Dragon Sleeper now drops Veni down to the canvas. Wrenching back on the neck. See Venny kicking their feet, trying to trying to get the foot, uh, the boot on the bottom rope, but instead 
Venny off the balls of their feet up to a, almost a standing position, a standing dragon sleeper, but instead, Emmy Sakura turned it around. She will rock you. And you can hear the socially distanced Will Robbie Russell Budokan crowd singing along. Emmy Sakura has Venny in her sights, dive and cross body. Venny dropped to the canvas. Emmy Sakura, Vader bomb there. Sakura looking for a second one. Another Vader bomb, but Venny got their knees up. Emmy Sakura with the wind knocked out of her. You can see pain all over the face of Sakura as the window of opportunity is open here tonight for Venny. Steps over as the arms of Emmy Sakura captured Venny. Wrenching back, putting pressure on the, the neck and the shoulders here of Emmy Sakura. Sakura trying desperately to make it to the bottom rope to force the break, but Venny has it locked in tight. This Yave style technique, not something that Emmy Sakura was prepared for, but something Venny has used to great effect here tonight. You can see the more experienced Emmy Sakura really was punished by that. But a big right hand very nearly drops Venny. Kick to the outside of the leg and another heavy chop delivered by Emmy Sakura. Sakura looks was looking for a backdrop, but Venny able to counter. Roundhouse kick. Kick to the jaw. Hooks the near leg. Just a two count, but Venny keeps the attack on. Sliding boot. No! Emmy Sakura able to kick out. Venny has looked extremely impressive here tonight. Living up to all of their hype. Waist lock applied. Emmy Sakura, though, reverses out of it. Double under hooks. And sits out to the Angel's wings. Though Sakura unable to capitalize on it. Both competitors down. This has been a back and forth battle to advance to the semifinal round of the Japanese side. The brackets of this AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament. Of course, the winner of the US side will meet the winner of the Japanese side. That winner, the overall winner, will face Hikaru Shida on March 7th on pay-per-view at Revolution. So. A lot on the line here tonight. Emmy Sakura eats the shot. A big right elbow, but Venny absorbs the contact and fires back with one of their own. Oh, the headbutt, though. But Venny comes back with one of their own. Gran Hamada-esque headbutt there. Drops Emmy Sakura. Oh, but that shot to that chest. The head of Emmy Sakura colliding with the sternum of Venny. Sakura winds up another big strike. Doubles Venny over. But Venny. Oh! Brutal elbow shot by Venny there. Emmy Sakura about to fall. The uppercut, the high boot, the thrust kick to the jaw. Emmy Sakura on roller skates here. Avoids the first shot. But not the second or the third. Emmy Sakura about to drop as Venny climbs up to the top. Venny coming off the top. Shotgun drop kick. Plants Emmy Sakura. Hooks the near leg. No. That would have been a huge first round upset for Venny. They need to keep the pressure on. Emmy Sakura fights out. Looking for a Fujiwara armbar. Venny rolls through. Cross chops to the chest of Venny. Another chop followed up by a left arm shot. No! Emmy Sakura very nearly put Venny away. Now with the double underhooks. Could be taking Angel's wings again, but Venny had it scouted through the wild shot. Emmy Sakura backslide. Venny rolls through. Emmy Sakura steps in. Mahi Strong Cradle. No! Venny puts in the brakes! Do no! So close. Venny nearly advancing to the semifinal round. Neither competitor can afford to give way at this point. 
Already 10 minutes have elapsed. This is a 20 minute time limit, of course, as Sakura nails Venny with two massive chops there. A third has Venny literally and figuratively against the ropes. Amy Sakura charging in. Venny, big leg lariat. Coming off the ropes. Emmy Sakura in serious trouble here. Venny chokes slam. No, they set out with it. Hooks the near leg. One, two, no! Again, Emmy Sakura able to kick out. Venny indicating for that big moonsault press. If Venny hits it, that will be the end of the night for Emmy Sakura. Venny up to the top. No, Sakura rolls in. Steps through Maestro Cradle. One, two, three. Oh, no! Instead, Emmy Sakura is using Venny's momentum against them. When Venny kicked out, Sakura transitioned into that arm capture dragon sleeper. Venny trying to use those long legs to get to the bottom rope. But Emmy Sakura really wrenching back here. Sakura has Venny in serious trouble here. Venny fading. Sakura, she can feel Venny fading. And is looking to make an expedient end to this. The double underhooks applied. Tiger driver. High stack. One, two, three. Wow. Wow, Venny looked impressive in their AEW debut. Amy Sakura picking up the victory here tonight. That Tiger Driver was all she wrote. Now, Amy Sakura has punched her ticket to the semifinal round. Great show of respect here tonight by both competitors. You have definitely not heard the last of Venny in pro wrestling. They look extreme. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Looks like the respect was only a one-way street here. Venny making the final statement here. As we take another look at the brackets now, Yuka Sakazaki and Emi Sakura have advanced. They will meet one another in the semi-final round. But coming up next, the cutest in the world, Maki Ito, takes on Anaki Ryo Mizunami in our next first-round matchup. Maki Ito soon to be making her way to the ring, making her AEW debut here tonight. Oh, she has the microphone in hand. I'm gonna lay up so we can uh, we can enjoy this performance. Maki Ito, of course, was a Japanese girl group idol in her teenage years, performing elaborate choreography, singing, dancing. Children's Choir are not the only ones that can sing along to someone's entrance music. 
変わりますね赤コーナーより水なり漁船出撃場です We await the entrance of Rio Mizunami, making her return to AEW for the first time since the original Double or Nothing on May 25th, 2019. Rio Mizunami, glasses, I Heart Anarchy, Anarchy her nickname. So really, doing a good job promoting her own merch. Maybe soon to be found at shopaew.com. In that match back at、uh, Double or Nothing on 2019, Ryo Mizunami teamed up with the former AEW Women's World Champion Riho and the current AEW Women's World Champion Hikaru Shida. A six person tag team match as they defeated fellow tournament competitors Emi Sakura, Yuka Sakazaki, and Aja Kong. Ryo Mizunami. One of the most hard hitting competitors in this tournament. So, one of. We have Asha Kong in this tournament, so. Have to qualify that statement. This will be a very interesting first round matchup. AEW, Josh Oda, Jimmy Chosen, Shah, Ketu Tournament, Ika Hen, Single Watch, Nidu Kun, Ipo Show. Out of that, Cutest in the World, Nitra Naki! The cutest in the world, Maki Ito. Akatora, Minna no Aik, Mitsuri, Yaha! Lemmy, Tommy! Ryo Mizunami fighting out of the red corner here tonight. Tommy, once again, our referee. An impressive chain there. Struggling to take it up. Oh, maybe not.、Oh, Ryo Mizunami, nonetheless, ready to battle that woman, Maki Ito, here in this opening round matchup. I mentioned Maki Ito's career as an idol. She was a part of the girl group Link. Then、uh, her pro wrestling career kind of began inadvertently from that, as、uh, Ito was a, a teenage idol. <laughs> Ryo Mizunami here to fight. As,、uh, as Tommy fighting out the hard way. But、uh, Maki Ito's Teenage Girl Group Link, they made an appearance on a DDT show in 2013. And、uh, Maki Ito really stood out due to her,、uh, her spirit, her coarse language, and of course, her famously hard head. And I don't mean her stubbornness. She, Maki Ito has a brutal headbutt that she likes to employ. She began training in DDT and made her debut at the very end of 2016, then transitioned over to Tokyo Joshi Pro in 2017, did Maki Ito. All the while, she was a, a member of Link still, still performing. And in Tokyo Joshi Pro, she formed the Ito Respect Army with Mizuki in order to,、uh, to help increase Ito's popularity, though, though Ito was still fired from Link. And after which, Ito was quoted as saying, Life is pain. And suffering, either that or John Paul Sartre. But right now, Maki Ito has Ryo Mizunami backed into the ropes. A clean break between. Oh! Well, maybe not a clean break. Maki Ito hammers Mizunami with a shot. And Ito now asking for one from Ryo Mizunami. And boy, did she get her wish. <laughs> Maki Ito being brought to tears. Real Mizunami, what have you done, you monster? Maki Ito is. Oh, the stop to the foot. Maki Ito is playing possum. She's really grinding it in to the toes of Real Mizunami. <laughs> Maki Ito. <laughs> Give it r e a l Mizunami the business here tonight. Shoulder tackle. <laughs> Mizunami doesn't even re realize what happened. Maki Ito got taken down by a stationary r e a l Mizunami here. I mentioned、uh, the Ito Respect Army, that,、uh, that unit was disbanded. 
a few years ago. However, oh, Mizunami sends Maki into the ropes. Big shoulder tackle. While Ito Respect Army was disbanded recently, the Neo Ito Respect Army was formed. Maki Ito joining forces with Chris Brooks to push her image, her public image, her popularity, and doing a great job of it. But right now, Ryo Mizunami, leg drop cover, lateral press. No. Ito able to kick out. Ryo Mizunami arguing the count with Tommy, but she is a longtime veteran, 16 years of in-ring experience. A brutal chop there. That experience of Mizunami. Another chop here. A third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and she is going. Satoshi Kojima-esque chops there from Ryo Mizunami. And the exclamation point. Mizunami began her career in 2004 with the Gaia promotion, where she trained under Mako Satomura. Big running elbow strike there in the corner. Ryo Mizunami crossed paths with Aja Kong very early on in her career, following the closure <laughs> of Gaia. Ryo Mizunami. Little, little bit of a pantomime appeal here as he charges in. Big clothesline in the corner. Mizunami covers, hooks deep. No. Maki Ito able to kick out. Following the closure of Gaia, Mizunami was, would follow Mako Satomura to Sendai Girls Pro Wrestling. Where she would face legends like Dynamite Kansai and the great Manami Toyota. As Ito fires in a somewhat ineffectual shot there. Mizunami would join Pro Wrestling Wave in 2009 where she would first cross paths with fellow tournament competitor Rin Katakura. And the scoop. And the slam, no, the slam escaped there by Maki Ito. The shot to the back of the knee now steps through the DDT with the hammer lock. Hammer lock DDT, very well applied there by Maki Ito. She closes the distance, diving back elbow. Ito with a big opportunity here, the running bulldog. Maki Ito famously a huge Grand Naniwa fan. Using the bulldog out of the corner. Ito appeals. And she asks, who is the cutest in the world? It is Ito-chan, as she is laying in right hands to the head of Ryo Mizunami. Ryo Mizunami rattled. It all started with that hammerlock DDT. And here we see the Kokeshi. The famously hard head of Maki Ito driven into Mizunami's midsection. Only a two count, though. Maki Ito in the driver's seat here. Looking for that Boston Crab. A submission technique she has used to great effect throughout her career. Can Ryo Mizunami weather this storm? Oh, yeah, I think she can. <laughs> Some knuckle push-ups perhaps in the future as she kicks out of it, sending Maki Ito spilling into the ropes. Ryo Mizunami up to her feet. The oh, tremendous power slam. Hook at the far leg. No. Ito able to kick out. Ryo Mizunami up to her feet. The clothesline against the ropes. Ito rolled out towards center. A big flashing leg drop. Lateral press, one, two, no! Ito once again able to kick out. Ryo Mizunami has used her size advantage extremely well. A couple of those leg drops delivered here tonight, maybe one more, could spell the end of the evening. And Maki Ito's tournament hopes, but Ito not out of this fight yet, driving in those back elbow strikes, but Mizunami just absolutely starts Ito with that one. Ito up to her feet, trying to fight through this pain known as life. Strikes being exchanged by both competitors. Center of the ring. This has turned into a firefight. Rights 
being exchanged. Ito creates some distance and really stepped into that one. Rio Mizunami asking for one more. Maki Ito steps into it, rapid fire shots here. Peppering Mizunami. A big wind up, but Rio Mizunami now the boxing elbows, left and right combinations here. Maki Ito's fading, drops to her knees. Rio Mizunami, big elbow shot. Maki Ito flat on her back. Ito struggling to her feet. Rio Mizunami lying in. Wait, what does she have lined up for her opponent? Oh, a massive chop followed up by the Lariat. Takes Ito down once again. The cutest in the world might not be able to weather much more of this. Oh, it rolls through. Single leg crab. She's got the, the leg of real Mizunami hooked as Mizunami trying to make the crawl to the bottom ropes to force the break. But you can see Maki Ito's got a very tight grip on that leg of Ryo Mizunami. Ito wrenching back. Mizunami makes the crawl. She is a fingertip away, but Ito sensed it, brought her back towards center. Was looking for the Boston Crab. Counter, is she caught the Lariat attempt? Oh, the headbutt! The headbutt to the arm, the right arm of Ryo Mizunami. Maki Ito, that hard head being put to good use here. She is firing up in the corner. Maki Ito, a big wind up and an even bigger headbutt delivered to Ryo Mizunami. Maki Ito has the advantage. You can see Mizunami trying to shake out the cobwebs. I'm not sure she wants to exchange quite like this. <laughs> you see Maki Ito, her head just too hard for real Mizunami. Mizunami trying to fire herself up, trying to get back in this fight. And oh, neither competitor wanting to give ground a meeting of the minds in the center of the ring. But Ito backs Mizunami into the ropes. The switch by Mizunami. DDT! Maki Ito plants Ryo Mizunami. Comes off the middle. Swagging DDT. Maki Ito is going to advance. No! Ryo Mizunami. Able to kick out and keep her hopes alive in this tournament. Ito positioning Ryo Mizunami near the corner as Maki Ito climbing to the top. This could be the big dive in Kokeshi. Nobody home. Ryo Mizunami avoids contact. Maki Ito colliding with nothing but the ring. And Mizunami with the spear just cut her in half. One, two, no, Ito. Ito kicks out, but immediately Mizunami cinches in that head and arm triangle. Maki Ito trying desperately to get to the ropes, but Mizunami has it locked in a tight vice like grip, and Maki Ito forced to tap out. Well, it wasn't easy, but real Mizunami was able to overcome the effort of Maki Ito. Ito looking very, very impressive in defeat, but it was a veteran seat. It was the experience of Ryo Mizunami that allowed her to come away with a victory. As we take a look at this finish here, first it was the spear, and then as soon as Maki Ito fired that right shoulder up off the canvas to kick out Ryo Mizunami, Locked in that head and arm triangle, and you see right there, Maki Ito forced to tap out, and Real Mizunami advancing. As we take another look at the brackets, Real Mizunami has punched her ticket to the semifinal round. She will face the winner of our main event here tonight, Aja Kong, the hard-hitting pro wrestling legend, takes on the young and talented Rin Katakura.
AEW 女子オーダー次期挑戦者決定トーナメント1回戦シングルマッチ20分1本勝負まずはじめに青コーナーより門倉凛選手入場です It's always thanks to Ring announcer Rakia Shindo here for the introduction as Rin Katakura making her AEW debut here tonight. Katakura is a product of the marvelous pro wrestling dojo under Chigusa Nagayo. And she began her career with Marvelous in 2016, where she still competes primarily to this day, though she has branched out to pro wrestling wave. Where, as you see right there, is one half of the Wave Tag Team Champions with Itsuki Aoki. But she will be in singles competition here tonight in this first round matchup of the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament. In Pro Wrestling Wave, Katakura has crossed paths with the semi finalist that she hopes to meet down the road in this tournament, Ryo Mizunami. It would be interesting if the two Wave representatives. We're able to face one another. However, in addition to Rin Katakura's familiarity with Ryo Mizunami, there's another member of the AEW roster that she's very familiar with, and we'll touch more on that in a little bit. I called Aja Kong a legend earlier. And it's a term that almost does not do her justice. A 34 year in ring career. Aja Kong had her first match just a few weeks before she turned 16. Pro wrestling is all she has known in life, and she has excelled at it. Aja Kong debuted for All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. In 1986, and since then, has done basically everything you could do in pro wrestling except for win the AEW Women's World Championship. And she hopes to rectify that here in this World Title Eliminator Tournament. Aja Kong, as I mentioned, one of the most hard hitting competitors in any division, any weight class. But you don't have a 34 year career without being one of the smartest competitors either. It'll be interesting to see how Rin Katakura can counter the ring IQ of Aja Kong. AEW Josh Oda, Jiki Chosen Jack, and the tournament of the Kaisen, Shigo Machi Nizu, Pum, Ipo Show. Aoboda, Webu, Nite, Kaku, Sensei Bosha, Kuruda, Nizu Fishu. Tommy will oversee our main event here tonight. Rin Katakura, Aja Kong, one on one for the final spot in the semifinal round of the Japanese side of the bracket of this world title eliminator tournament. Katakura laying in the shots, but Aja Kong looking、uh, not, too, not too worried about the strikes of Rin Katakura. Aja Using her size advantage, Katakura keeps hammering her. Instead, shifts tactics and hits the ropes, but Aja Kong with the lariat making Katakura pay for it. Rin Katakura, the wind up, more strikes to the chest, but the heavy hands of Aja Kong coming into play there. A little bit of an homage to great Kabuki there by Kong. Aja Kong diving elbow drop across the chest covers. Just a two count goes for the cover once again. Rin Katakura able to kick out a third time there. I mentioned Chigusa Nagayo. 
Rin Katakura's trainer. Shibusa Nagayo is actually one half of the tag team that inspired Aja Kong to become a pro wrestler. And the Crush Gals with Lioness Asuka. That tag team was a sensation in all Japan women's pro wrestling in the 1980s, inspiring so many competitors to step into the ring. Kong backing Katakura to the ropes, a heavy-handed chop. But, us, oh no, a second one. Well, now we have a situation here where two women inspired by Chigusa Nagayo to pursue pro wrestling, albeit decades apart, competing in this first round tournament matchup. Tommy instructing Aja Kong to open up that hand. Of course, she knows better. And a palm strike to the top of the head, dropping Rin Katakura, another competitor that was inspired by Chigusa Nagayo was the former AEW Women's World Champion, Nyla Rose, who trained in Marvelous Pro Wrestling. Uh-oh. Rin Katakura is... Oh! <laughs> Spiked on the top of her head! Aja Kong covers and that... No! That was not it! Katakura able to kick out, able to... to find some reserves of strength and energy. Well, I mentioned Nyla Rose. She she trained in Marvelous Pro Wrestling under Chigusa Nagayo, and she crossed paths with Rin Katakura many times in the past. As Katakura, oh, Katakura counters with a DDT. Aja Kong in trouble here as Rin Katakura builds up ahead of steam diving drop kick. Rin Katakura with a huge opportunity here. Headed up to the top rope. Aja Kong getting to her feet. Rin Katakura drop kick. Caught Kong on the shoulder. Lateral press here, but Aja Kong wasting no time. Grabbing the ropes. That is the experience edge of Aja Kong. Her great ring generalship on display. Rin Katakura. Maybe thinking Northern Light Suplex. Northern Light Suplex attempt here. Aja Kong, you can see widening her base. A pleased look on Kong's face, delivering a series of knee strikes to Katakura. Katakura though, firing in elbows. Heads to the ropes, Aja Kong. Baited her in for a crucifix. Oh, it sandwiched her too, no. Rin Katakura kicked out. Aja Kong just stuck her arm out there and Rin Katakura took the bait. Oh, God. Brutal kick to the ribs by Aja Kong. Rin Katakura in serious trouble here. Kong brings her opponent up to her feet. Rin Katakura gets low, gets wide, trying to counter the backdrop driver attempt. Fires in with some elbows, and Kong there! The clothesline, another clubbing shot, covers one, two, no! Katakura kicks out! Rin Katakura showing a lot of heart here tonight, but Aja Kong, she just gestured, this is it. Could this be the case? No, Rin Katakura up to her feet. Fighting with Aja Kong up on the middle rope. Kong gets brought back down to the ring the hard way. Rin Katakura headed up to the middle. Blocks the clothesline attempt. Swinging DDT. Kong gets planted once again. Rin Katakura charging in. Flipping Senton in the corner. Katakura with her best chance of the match here. Covers one, two, no! Kong kicks out. Aja Kong still in this fight. Rin Katakura though has a huge opportunity to advance to the next round. Heads up, top goes for the Mariposa, nobody home. Kong rolled inward to the corner, avoided contact. 
And now Aja Kong. Oh, the, oh, the backdrop driver just planted. Rin Katakura, one, two. No, Rin Katakura digging deep and able to kick out here. Aja Kong. It would behoove her to end this as quickly as possible. I think she's thinking the same thing. Looking for the Brain Buster Katakura. Oh, just a right hand to the jaw. And a clothesline. Kong sits out with one, two. No. Katakura again able to kick out. How much more can Rin Katakura withstand? Aja Kong heads up to the top rope. The diving elbow, Animal Hamaguchi style. One, two, three. Aja Kong, your winner. She will face Ryo Mizunami in the semifinals. A great effort by both competitors here tonight, but Aja Kong looked nearly unstoppable. She is an absolute force of nature and will be a gigantic test for Ryo Mizunami in the semifinal round. And the winner of that match, as we take one final look at the brackets, will meet the winner of Yuka Sakazaki and Emi Sakura in the Japanese final round. But this Wednesday night on the American side of the bracket, Serena D faces Riho live 8-7 Central on TNT. Hope you will join us then. Good night, everyone. <laughs>